In computer science, a union is a value that may have any of several representations or formats within the same position in memory, or it is a data structure that consists of a variable that may hold such a value. Some programming languages support special data types, called union types, to describe such values and variables. In other words, a union type definition will specify which of a number of permitted primitive types may be stored in its instances, e.g., float or long integer. Contrast with a record or structure, which could be defined to contain a float and an integer. In a union, there is only one value at any given time. A union can be pictured as a chunk of memory that is used to store variables of different data types. Once a new value is assigned to a field, the existing data is overwritten with the new data. The memory area storing the value has no intrinsic type other than just bytes or words of memory, but the value can be treated as one of several abstract data types, having the type of the value that was last written to the memory area. In type theory, a union has a sum type, this corresponds to disjoint union in mathematics. Depending on the language and type, a union value may be used in some operations, such as assignment and comparison for equality, without knowing its specific type. Other operations may require that knowledge, either by some external information, or by the use of a tagged union. <laughs> Untagged unions Because of the limitations of their use, untagged unions are generally only provided in untyped languages or in a type unsafe way as in C. They have the advantage over simple tagged unions of not requiring space to store a data type tag. The name, union, stems from the type's formal definition. If a type is considered as the set of all values that that type can take on, a union type is simply the mathematical union of its constituting types, since it can take on any value any of its fields can. Also, because a mathematical union discards duplicates, if more than one field of the union can take on a single common value, it is impossible to tell from the value alone which field was last written. However, one useful programming function of unions is to map smaller data elements to larger ones for easier manipulation. A data structure consisting, for example, of 4 bytes and a 32-bit integer, can form a union with an unsigned 64-bit integer, and thus be more readily accessed for purposes of comparison etc. Unions in various programming languages <laughs> ALGOL 68 ALGOL 68 has tagged unions, and uses a case clause to distinguish and extract the constituent type at runtime. A union containing another union is treated as the set of all its constituent possibilities. The syntax of the C – C++ union type and the notion of casts was derived from ALGOL 68, though in an untagged form. C – C++ In C and C++, untagged unions are expressed nearly exactly like structures structs, except that each data member begins at the same location in memory. The data members, as in structures, need not be primitive values, and in fact may be structures or even other unions. C++, since C++ 11 also allows for a data member to be any type that has a full-fledged constructor, destructor and or copy constructor, or a non-trivial copy assignment operator. For example, it is possible to have the standard C++ string as a member of a union. Like a structure, all of the members of a union are by default public. The keywords private, public, and protected may be used inside a structure or a union in exactly the same way they are used inside a class for defining private, public, and protected member access. 
The primary use of a union is allowing access to a common location by different data types, for example hardware input-output access, bitfield and word sharing, or type punning. Unions can also provide low-level polymorphism. However, there is no checking of types, so it is up to the programmer to be sure that the proper fields are accessed in different contexts. The relevant field of a union variable is typically determined by the state of other variables, possibly in an enclosing struct. One common C programming idiom uses unions to perform what C++ calls a reinterpret underscore cast, by assigning to one field of a union and reading from another, as is done in code which depends on the raw representation of the values. A practical example is the method of computing square roots using the IEEE representation. This is not, however, a safe use of unions in general. Structure and union specifiers have the same form. The size of a union is sufficient to contain the largest of its members. The value of at most one of the members can be stored in a union object at any time. A pointer to a union object, suitably converted, points to each of its members or if a member is a bit field, then to the unit in which it resides, and vice versa. Anonymous union In C++, C11, and as a non-standard extension in many compilers, unions can also be anonymous. Their data members do not need to be referenced, are instead accessed directly. They have some restrictions as opposed to traditional unions, in C11, they must be a member of another structure or union, and in C++, they can not have methods or access specifiers. Simply omitting the class name portion of the syntax does not make a union an anonymous union. For a union to qualify as an anonymous union, the declaration must not declare an object. Example. COBOL In COBOL, union data items are defined in two ways. The first uses the renames 66 level keyword, which effectively maps a second alphanumeric data item on top of the same memory location as a preceding data item. In the example code below, data item person rec is defined as a group containing another group and a numeric data item. Person data is defined as an alphanumeric data item that renames person rec, treating the data bytes continued within it as character data. The second way to define a union type is by using the redefines keyword. In the example code below, data item vers num is defined as a 2-byte binary integer containing a version number. A second data item vers bytes is defined as a 2-character alphanumeric variable. Since the second item is redefined over the first item, the two items share the same address in memory, and therefore share the same underlying data bytes. The first item interprets the two data bytes as a binary value, while the second item interprets the bytes as character values. Place, I In place, I then original term for a union was cell, which is still accepted as a synonym for union by several compilers. The union declaration is similar to the structure definition, where elements at the same level within the union declaration occupy the same storage. Elements of the union can be any data type, including structures and array. Here, Vers underscore num and vers underscore bytes occupy the same storage locations. An alternative to a union declaration is the defined attribute, which allows alternative declarations of storage, however the data types of the base and defined variables must match. <laughs> Syntax and example In C and C++, the syntax is A structure can also be a member of a union, as the following example shows 
This example defines a variable UVAR as a union tagged as name 1, which contains two members, a structure tagged as name 2 named SVAR which in turn contains three members, and an integer variable named D. Unions may occur within structures and arrays, and vice versa. The number IVAL is referred to as SIMTAB I, U, IVAL and the first character of string SVAL by either of asterisk SIMTAB I, U dot SVAL or SIMTAB I, U dot SVAL 0. <laughs> Difference between union and structure A union is a class all of whose data members are mapped to the same address within its object. The size of an object of a union is, therefore, the size of its largest data member. In a structure, all of its data members are stored in contiguous memory locations. The size of an object of a struct is, therefore, the size of the sum of all its data members. This gain in space efficiency, while valuable in certain circumstances, comes at a great cost of safety. The program logic must ensure that it only reads the field most recently written along all possible execution paths. The exception is when unions are used for type conversion, in this case, a certain field is written and the subsequently read field is deliberately different. As an example illustrating this point, the declaration defines a data object with two members occupying consecutive memory locations foo a b memory address 0150-0154 in contrast the declaration defines a data object with two members occupying the same memory location bar a b memory address 0150 Structures are used wherein object is composed of other objects, like a point object consisting of two integers, those being the x and y coordinates. Unions are typically used in situation where an object can be one of many things but only one at a time, such as a type-less storage system. See also Tagged union Union operator Variant type